In China, people have been wrestling with a river dragon for thousands of years. The Yangtze, turbid, tempestuous, legendary. Of all China's great rivers, it is the Yangtze that best symbolizes the history of a people blessed and cursed by the power of flowing waters. Known as the Golden Waterway, the Yangtze River brings water to 24 million hectares of farmland and prosperity to some 374 million people. For over 4,000 years, the emperors of China's Middle Kingdom made control of the Yangtze their chief preoccupation. Yet, as late as the mid-20th century, those who lived, traveled and worked on the Yangtze were still fearful of the fury this river could and did unleash. In 1954, one Yangtze flood left 30,000 people dead and one million homeless. <laughs> About 10 days ago, the water stood this high. I saw that with my own eyes. A few days ago, I saw the flood. This flood has big consequences for Wuhan. Wuhan is a big city in middle China. A lot of lives and millions of capital have been lost, caused by the flood. By the end of the Second World War, as China's population continued to boom and energy needs grew, a project aimed at altering the flow and fulfilling a dream of the ancient emperors took place. Kutang, Wu and Ziling, the three gorges of the mighty Yangtze. In 1984, hundreds of engineers, scientists and technicians from all parts of China and a dozen other countries were drawn to this place of lore and legend. They planned to reshape not only the hills and valleys, but to tame the last dragon who resides here. Today, men move like ants across a massive mechanized structure, a structure that will soon constitute the world's most powerful dam. Straddling the Yangtze for a distance of two kilometers, Three Gorges Dam will be 185 meters tall. Its enormous size will create a 600 kilometer long reservoir with an incredible water storage capacity of 40 billion cubic meters. Government projections show that by the time Three Gorges is completed in 2009, its turbines will be able to generate up to 85 billion kilowatt hours of electricity per year, roughly one tenth of China's total supply of electricity. Officials also point to Three Gorges' engineered ability to protect over 15 million people and 1.6 million hectares of land along the Yangtze from devastating floods. Yet for all its stunning size, its stated promise, and its international backing, the Three Gorges Dam project is not without raging controversy. Current estimates of the Great Dam's final cost range from 25 to 65 billion dollars. Local and international organizations are concerned not only with Three Gorges' costs, but also its impact on people and the environment. In the race to completion, Three Gorges Dam will submerge tens of thousands of hectares from both farmland and forest, 160 towns, 1,500 factories, and hundreds of archaeological sites.
By completion, the project will have displaced over one million people. It will be the largest displacement in the history of dam construction. Upstream, some 80 species of fish will be wiped out, while downstream, wetlands will be disrupted and wildlife and fish populations endangered. Most ominous of all is the threat of catastrophic collapse. It is not an idle threat. In 1975, both the Bunkyao and the Siwantan dams failed, sending a surge of water downstream that killed over 200,000 people. It was a disaster that only became public years later. These dangers appear so real that concerned environmentalists worldwide are advocating a halt to the Three Gorges Dam project, opting instead for a series of five or six smaller dams placed strategically along the Yangtze. Such an alternative might avoid massive resettlement of people and provide a better match for energy needs with local areas of supply. But despite alternative plans, despite growing uncertainty and opposition, construction continues on China's most ambitious project since the Great Wall.